YNY Book Awards nominations for the YMCA's 2018 Chinese Yuan Book Awards are open until July 15, 2018. To be eligible, a book must have been published between July 1, 2017 and June 30, 2018. Authors whose works were published just before this range and were not nominated for the 2017 awards are encouraged to contact the Downtown Writers Center for discussion. The book's author, or one of the primary authors, for works with multiple authors must live in one of the following counties, Seneca, Tioga, Tompkins, Cayuga, Oswego, Onondaga, Portland, Broome, Shenango, Madison, Oneida, Lewis, Jefferson. Books may be nominated by the author, their publisher, or any resident of the counties listed here. Works published solely in electronic formats are not eligible. Now in its seventh year, the YMCA CNY Book Awards celebrate the best books of fiction, nonfiction, and poetry published each year by authors who call Central New York their home. The winners of the 2018 Chinese Yuan Book Awards will be announced live at this year's awards reception, which will be held at the CNY Philanthropy Center at 431E. Fayette Street, Syracuse, on Thursday, in November. 8. Winners receive $350. Finalists are also named in each category. The CNY Book Awards are a program of the YMCA's Downtown Writers Center, CNY's only community center for education in the literary arts. Complete information, including nomination forms, is available through this link. Honoring a celebrated author out after more than a year of fundraising and editorial work, a new anthology paying artistic tribute to Maurice Kenny, a celebrated author of the North Country, has been published by Mini Moons Press of Potsdam. Edited by Derek C. Mouse and Donald J. McNutt, two of Kenny's former colleagues at SUNY Potsdam, Wild Daisies by the Side of the Road, a collective tribute to Maurice Kenny, includes 27 previously unpublished poems, essays, and sketches by Kenny himself, and also features dozens more written and visual tributes both by individuals who knew him in person and others who knew him only through his writing. The book's contributors include several of Kenny's colleagues and students from the various North Country colleges at which he worked, SUNY Potsdam, North Country Community College, Paul Smith's, friends and collaborators from throughout North America, as well as artists hailing from Austria, Canada, France, Hungary, Russia, and Switzerland. Maurice Kenny was born in Watertown on August 16, 1929 and died in Saranac Lake on April 16, 2016. Over the course of a career that spanned more than six decades, he worked tirelessly as a poet, a teacher, a mentor, and an activist that took him all over the world. He published more than 30 books, was twice nominated for the Pulitzer Prize, received the American Book Award, was awarded an honorary doctorate by Street Lawrence University, and is enshrined in the New York State Writers Hall of Fame. The first edition of this anthology consists of a limited run of 250 paperback copies. Thanks to the generosity of donors who contributed to an online fundraising drive to offset the initial cost of producing the book, all of the proceeds generated by the sale of this first edition and any subsequent reprint editions will be dedicated to create a scholarship fund for Mohawk students attending SUNY Potsdam. Information about how to purchase copies of this book is available on the book's website. Book Events The Madison County Historical Society is hosting a program and book signing with Anthony Wonderly for his book Oneida Utopia, a community searching for human happiness and prosperity, featured previously in this column. The event will take place on Saturday, July 21st at 1 p.m. at the Historical Society located at 435 Main Street in Oneida. Wonderly shares with readers his intimate knowledge of evidence from the Oneida community, maps and photographs, quilts and furniture, domestic objects and industrial products, and the biggest artifact of all, their communal home. Wonderly also takes a novel approach to the thought of the commune's founder, examining individually and in context noises reactions to interests and passions of the day, including revivalism, millennialism, utopianism, and spiritualism. After Anthony Wonderly's program there will be an opportunity to purchase copies of Oneida Utopia and to request the author's signature. There is no fee to attend the program.
refreshments will be served. For contact information, please visit the Madison County Historical Society website. Hamilton, NY is hosting a special month-long search for beloved children's book character Waldo of Where's Waldo, combining a multi-generational love for the books with a celebration of local shops. Over 20 businesses are partnering with the Colgate Bookstore and the Hamilton Public Library to create a special hunt that will culminate in the chance to win a special prize. Anyone who wishes to participate can pick up a Find Waldo Local in Hamilton passport at the Colgate Bookstore, which contains the names of all the participating sites, and get their passport stamped or signed for each Waldo they spot. Additionally, Waldo and his friends have each dropped a precious item in the Colgate Bookstore. These items can be spotted as well. Collecting store stamps or signatures at the 20-plus businesses will entitle diligent seekers entry into a grand prize drawing on July 31st, with the top prize being an eight-volume set of Waldo books. There will be a Find Waldo local party on July 31st at 4 p.m. in collaboration with the Hamilton Public Library. A special scavenger hunt will start at the Hamilton Public Library and end at the Colgate Bookstore for pizza and prizes. Have a book to share. Are you a local author or have you come across a book set in central New York? Tell us about it. Send a brief description of the book and the author and we'll add it as a candidate for coverage. Write us at features at Syracuse.com. Save, 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 save.